hour, and I am happy to yield first to my good friend, the gentleman from Wisconsin and former Navy SEAL, Mr. Van Orden. Thank you, Mr. Johnson, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, this week, the House will consider the Military Construction, Veterans Affairs, and Related Agencies Appropriations Bill. As a former Navy SEAL and a combat veteran, I'm proud to support this legislation. It delivers on our promise for a safer nation by providing the Department of Defense with the facilities they require and our promise to protect those who have protected our nation by fully funding the Veterans Affairs uh, Department. Additionally, it helps rectify two grievous wrongs that have been committed by the Department of Veterans Affairs. The first, they're politicizing this budget process, and second, the appropriations process, rather, and the second, by trying to subvert the Constitution and remove veterans' Second Amendment rights. As Republicans work to responsibly raise the debt ceiling, the Department of Veterans Affairs told Americans in a press, press release that Republicans wanted to gut those benefits for those that served our country, and this was simply not factual. When I returned to my district, I held a roundtable for my fellow veterans. And then at an American Legion in Sparta, Wisconsin, a 96-year-old Vietnam veteran named Don told me that he was terrified that he'd be losing the veterans that he earned during his service. The Department of Veterans Affairs fearmongering with Don and all of our veterans to score cheap political points is unacceptable. The Veterans Administration is subverting our vets' Second Amendment rights by sending the beneficiary's name to the FBI's National Instant Criminal Background Check System, or NICS, whenever a fiduciary is appointed to help beneficiaries, a beneficiary manage his VA benefits. So if a veteran cannot balance their checkbook, they could potentially be barred from buying a weapon. And as a result of this, uh, many veterans have decided to not go to the Veterans Affairs Committee. In the VA committee hearing this week Chairman ba to hear Chairman Boss bill the, the Veterans Second Amendment Protection Act, a witness testified that as December 2020, federal agencies have contributed 263,225 records to the background check system, of which the Veterans Administration is responsible for 98.1 of the total number. I am a 100% service-connected dis dis uh, disabled veteran. And make no mistake, the Milcon VA Appropriations Bill fully funds our veterans' health care, our veterans' health benefit programs, and many other veterans' administration programs to the tune of $800 million more than Joe Biden put in his, uh, his budget request. It eliminates the funding for the Veterans Office of Public Affairs in direct response to their politically motivated false claims about budget cuts. So, my number one priority when I entered this body is to prevent veteran suicide. And by scaring veterans away from going to the Veterans Affairs uh, facilities, that is not forwarding that goal. So I urge my colleagues on the Democrat side and the Republican side to support this bill. And I thank you very much for this uh, time, and I yield back. Thank you, my friend. Thank, thank you for your service to the country and for your expertise on this. Greatly appreciated.